Welcome back, everybody, to Gymvitational Round 2 Upper Bracket. We got Jabba, a.k.a. Trainer Orange, and Behe. Uh, I am Hinkage. AKA I am Behe. joined. I'm joined by Rambode. So, uh... Hello. Yeah. We, we recorded two other videos, actually, but you won't be seeing them, because, uh... You won't be seeing them. <laughs> yeah, the audio was super messed up, <laughs> apparently. Yeah. Yeah, that was all my fault. Anyway, let's get into it. Well, lead lead Motris, that is isn't something you see every day. Yeah, that's Safe definitely wisp. Yeah, safest wisp in the whole world, quite possibly. I don't think anyone Could it be bandit lead? Bandit? Nah. <laughs> I I mean there's I don't know, I've seen some uh, bandit HP fighting mode yeah. to Lear and Blissey. That's true, actually. Banded sky attack too. That would be a that's yeah. that's that's real gaming moment right there. Well, anyway. Okay, B B he probably has a spinner, right? If he was um, okay with letting Skarm spike, even though it didn't spike further. He might not. I mean, he's got Blissey for Wish. It could be, could be a mostly flyers. You know, yeah, uh, yeah, it's shaping it. Yeah, it is shaping up to be a bit of a Superman team, true. Or a Superman adjacent. <sighs> Imagine you just overheat again and you crit there. <laughs> Gamer. Yeah. Oh no, there's Metagross. Okay, Superman adjacent at best. I think you're right. Yeah, I mean, Superman can have like two grounded. I think. Yeah. But it's usually Tinker instead of Meta. Yeah, it could be, yeah, for sure. Metagross missing Ooh. Meteor Mash twice and uh, letting Jabba get up another safe layer of spikes. Clearly not banded. Oh, yeah. Interesting roar there. He probably figured, um, probably figured B he was going to switch. But nope, he was content to stay in and probably just keep clicking Mash. There's the spin. Perfect timing. Okay. Oh. oh sorry, that's Exposes the dug here. In the <laughs> oh, crit crew. rock slide. That's gonna. Well, that would matter more if if Skarm hadn't come back in. Now he can kind of heal up a little bit. Okay. Oh, Good. catches Zapdos coming in. Probably pretty pretty valuable. Yeah, I mean he had he had three layers up anyway, so it was really just gonna be roar or toxic that he was gonna be clicking that turn anyhow. I think. Yeah. The thing is, so far, like if uh, Zapdos gets chipped like that, the only thing standing between off me and just winning is Blissey, right? When the, the three layers is help but done with that. Oh, it's yeah. I oh, mean, it's standard for okay. Superman. Yeah, this is definitely it's pretty usual. Good. Yeah, I hate I hate when they rest. Okay, paralysis doesn't mean anything really on Blissey, unless it's Serene Grace. <laughs> <laughs> it is not. It isn't. It's not. That's confirmed. Didn't go with a double Serene Grace score of Rachi Blissey. Oof. Yeah, that kind of that that sucks. That would be some nice pressure that you that you, you could put Zapdos, force it to rest again in a few turns. But now, Doug getting roared out. Not good. Not what you want to see. Going for the freeze? Nope. Yeah, Metagross is really the only other... Well, I mean, Jirachi could, but it's offensive. Probably doesn't want to risk maybe an Earthquake. Mixed Metagross. Nice. Yeah. Could be HP Grass or Fire, uh, since it's resistant. Yeah. Um, that's that's HP Fire. Probably Fire, though. Yeah. yeah HP Grass would have dealt even less. Yeah, it did 12%. I doubt Moltres has taken 12 from an HP Grass. 
Good spikes off again. Well, gets rid of them, I mean. Doug yeah. Trio on Scar. Yeah, Doug Trio can just switch in into Zap all day since it's uh, probably Mono T Boat. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably got T Wave Probably. for its last. Oh no, Rest Sleep Talk. Yep. Yeah, yeah no, it's Roar, Rest Sleep Talk, T Boat. That's a really frustrating set to play against. Even though Doug Trio like can keep coming in on it, it can't really uh, can't really do much else. Can't really afford to. I mean, it can rock slide, it can force in Metagross, and then chip that down eventually, and that's about it. With Star and it forces. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. I'm it also like. <laughs> <laughs> no worry. It also like. Slowly but surely, widows away at uh, T boats PP. Like it's pretty safe. There's little reason not to do it unless you fear double. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I always see this is where my star rank shows itself. I always forget about you know. I keep PP stalling in mind, but like it's kind of easy to to forget about in the early early stages <laughs> of the game. I just feel like 24 Thunderbolts, you know? I feel like that's not... That's that's <laughs> tough to stall out. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I don't have I any mean, attention maybe, span for maybe it. it could. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it comes up, who knows? Yeah. Confirming without a doubt it is HP fire. Oh, okay, just booms, nice. Booms? That's actually... That's not bad, because this Starmie looks like it's defensive. Probably doesn't have Ice Beam. I mean, Blissey does, but it's pretty easy to prevent Flygon from coming in on Blissey. Then Dugtrio kind of gets stuffed by Flygon. This Jirachi might have Ice Punch, though. Yeah. I think Starmie has, like, 26% too, so uh, Jabba has to be careful not to allow three layers. Yeah. The overlay is covering it up, but yeah, Starmie has, like, 28%, I think. So it's barely <coughs> gonna live. This Jirachi is looking oh, it's a, pretty threatening now. Yeah, if it's super right, you could just... I know, yeah, there's where, but still, great trip. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's only a matter of time. Blissey, still at 100%. But if it's got Yeah, some... remember... Remember how the Skarm was at, like, 10%? Yeah. That's yeah. Skarm for you. There we go, he's back at 13. He'll, he'll be back, though. He'll, he'll chip heal back up. Just like I said, you know, you think, oh, God, yes, I've gotten Skarm down. He's almost dead. And before you know it, he's back at 50, and you're like, damn it. <laughs> Probably a boom coming from Meta. Oh. Mm, nice quake. Yeah. Probably, probably, I'm ex I I'm assuming Jabba expected that. And he just wanted, he wanted to sack Doug to bring in Rachi. Yeah, either way, like, even if he boom. Like, boom or not, he just kills meta either way, since no spin. Yeah. So. True. Does he have any... This is gonna be tough for, uh... I can't really tell who's winning at the moment. Because, I mean, how is he gonna break Blissey and Rest Talk Zap? And then Moltres can just keep coming in on Jirachi to prevent that from like really doing anything. I think B is probably right it probably wants to like force Blissey out repeatedly so he can kill the others, you know? Yeah, but I mean Blissey doesn't even have to come in between Moltres and Zapdos. And Blissey kind of forces it in. Kinda, yeah. And chips it, chips it with Toxic every time. Oh, true, true. Yeah, Moltres does not have rest. If he can get a Toxic on Moltres, it's the beginning of the end. Oh, wait, actually, no, because Blissey has Aromatherapy. <laughs> He's got five more. Yeah. We gotta stall out the Aromatherapies. Yeah. yeah, that's why you gotta kill the others so he can actually switch in. Uh, switch out, sorry. Yeah. All right, we are in turn 77, and we keep will o wisping Blissey. I'm going to take the initiative and increase it to fast. I feel like this is going to be... 
This is going to be a tense battle, <laughs> but a long one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it kind of is a long one already. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, getting a freeze, Oof. too, on any of these, that would be nice. Yeah. Not Blissey, of Even course. on Blissey, like, it already forces it out, which means even more spikes chip, so... Well, but uh, uh, but wish is oh okay. huge. Okay, yeah, I can. We can work with this. It's gonna force another aromatherapy. So we're yeah. slowly ticking those down. Jabba yeah. just switching around, probably looking to preserve PP. I'm guessing. Mm. Uh, goes for the overheat. Ooh, what is Barely. It? Oof. Yeah. I think he just got. All right, let's slow it down. I think he got... It's okay, Zapdos finishes it. Yeah, that was actually a good play, just to go for the overheat, and then Jirachi couldn't, didn't have time to heal, and now there's no way Blissey can do anything at all here with Toxic Ice Beam. I mean, what uh, what can be he do in return, though? Um, Like, it's still wave Blissey, I think, right? Or, oh, no, Wish, sorry. So, yeah. like, Blissey can just... You know, it's recover star me like it's pretty hard to um what be he can do I, no he, just, he just pp stalls because he's got rest talk he's got rest zapdos you can just click rest then wait two turns yeah he can switch basically indefinitely between zapdos and skarmory and really not take any damage yeah but java can also do the same pretty much like, it, it can just spin away, it can recover. Uh, I think if it spins, like, it dies to a seismic toss. Like, I don't think Lefties is going to heal it enough. I think seismic toss kills it. Well, he could recover yeah, but it and can, then seismic Yeah, toss. that's the thing. He, re he recovers. But now then he'll the die next to time he comes in, he can, Yeah, but next time he comes in, he has enough HP to spin. Not oh, unless he two. keeps getting roared. <laughs> And that HP is slowly dwindling down. Let's see, does he roar again? He does. That recovery is slowly being chipped away. 6.25% at a time. Blissey, too. Dude, he is, Blissey is going to die to a single spike. <laughs> That's percentage damage for you. Oh. Yeah. oh, and how did he know? He calls out the... Yeah, it's probably... B, he probably wins here, right? Yeah, it's Skarm just toxics here. Blissey will die sometime. Yeah. Yeah, it's over. That's an over. We're just gonna... The only way Jabba can just even, win... If he stop Blissey, even. It's even safer. Jabba can still win if they disable Freeze Claws, and then he gets three Freezes. They could get... <laughs> Even more since there's Blissey. Yeah, this is over. This is so over. There is n absolutely no way Jabba can win. But we don't forfeit. We hope for True. a miracle. Let's go to hyper fast. Because I'm not going to skip ahead. Why is he not toxic -y? Oh, he doesn't have it with Blissey. Toxic. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. well yeah. We're, we're assuming he doesn't have it. Here we yeah, go. Mono Seismic Dust doesn't seem like the best thing. Why is that Does Skarmot have Toxic? He would at least be Drill Pack. No, he doesn't. He's got Drill Pack. Oh, oh okay. Jabba know, forfeited. But, but all right. All right. Yeah. Maybe it was like a mental thing. He just wanted he wanted Jabba to be the one to forfeit. <laughs> he, he wants to break him down. That's a real thing. It's yeah. a real strategy. All right, we got T-Tar Zap lead, and we are punching something. We're punching steel. That's a pretty strong punch. Oh my god, Earthquake. Oof. Earthquake. Ooh, it's a mash miss. Okay, yep, yeah, things are starting out already pretty tough for B. For B, no, sorry, for Jabba. 
And he might have Lum. We don't know yet. Why did he earthquake again there? He's a madman. Oh. Yep, that's not going to kill earthquake again. Oh. Lead T target. Neither of those are going to kill. <laughs> Insane amount of uh, value out of that lead T tar. Happy to trade the Skarm HP for Toxic. Yeah, but like we saw with game one, that Skarm can probably chip heal back up over the course of the game. Like this. <laughs> oh, it's a Raikou. Oh, so, so that's why it lives. It was probably Moki Doug. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Probably beat up Doug for Plissy. Raikou still dies to even, um... I think even non-choice banned Earthquake would kill Raikou, right? From that? I think so. Probably. Let's see if this Suicune has Ice Beam. No. Defensive. Most. I mean, even, even if it had, it doesn't love eating damage when it's the only thing standing between Arrow and just sweeping. Yeah. Just clearing everything. True, you're right. Okay, HP Grass revealed. Notably, Bihi Zapdos is also pretty threatening here since Raikou is pretty low. Oh, Arrow Double Edge, also very threatening. Yeah, you have to go Sweet Moon here. And you yeah, have to. Bihi probably wins here, honestly. Like yeah. Zapdos, unless. Things could always happen, of course, but looking like his arrow and his aptos are looking super threatening to Jabba. Yeah, um, this Breloom, not gonna live a double edge. No, not at 71. Yeah, it's looking, uh, kind of looking over. I don't really know how you come back from this. I think Suicune might have had a chance at some point, maybe if he calm-minded on the zap switch and got, you know, was, maybe the Zapdos was EV'd a little weak and he barely lived <laughs> on like 25 with Slack maybe, and then he would have like four turns to Hydro Pump <laughs> everything. That's a lot of this. <laughs> Does he have Slack? Yeah. No, no, he it's doesn't. Lefties. He had lefties. I should have been paying attention. Anyway, that is a lot of ifs, but yeah, that 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 was a big contrast to the very long game one. That's super short. Now oh, yeah. twenty six turns. Yeah, they made up for it. They were like, okay, we went like one hundred fifteen turns before, so we got to lower the average down to twenty six. I mean, he got him down to last mon, but that was like the momentum was. Not in Chava's favor the whole time. That, that's kind of how Arrow does it, though. Like, yeah. Rip. Especially well, when, considering Jabba lost meta so early. Like, Arrow double edge was just free. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that lead T-Tar. That was like... He got a lot of value out of that. He earthquaked like a madman. And it worked out for him. Jabba is much better than me, but I wasn't expecting that earthquake. <laughs> yeah. I didn't expect him to do that again. We didn't even find out. Oh, he did have lefties. He might have had Lumberry, though, so, like, Breloom couldn't really <laughs> afford to click Spore there either. Well, good games. Yeah, if only Mesh had, reve had revealed <laughs> yeah. um, lefties there instead of missing. Oh, yeah, that's true. That actually. Yeah, that actually mattered quite a bit. Mash might have just straight up killed there, honestly. Yeah, that Mash miss like just was the first domino to fall. Yeah, it was the beginning of the end. It was over, and then it got increasingly more and more over as time went on. <laughs> well, <laughs> good games to both players. Like I said, this is 
uh, winner's bracket, a.k.a. upper bracket. So Jabba does have a chance to come back, get his vengeance and losers. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, remember to like, subscribe, donate, hit the bell, whatever else that you're supposed to do. Um, 